is just the intro to uh, Charlie Pride's role on Mississippi. Uh, two things before I start. One, just by way of disclosure, I didn't work it out, the, uh, the song that is. Uh, my old guitar teacher did, and if you happen to be watching, and uh, I'm sure you wouldn't mind me putting it on, that if you want, to, want me to credit you with it, please just get in touch with me and I'll add it to a, a comment to the video. The other thing is the guitar is tuned down one step for uh, this song. Um, normally I don't bother, it still sounds fine if, if not tuned down, but I thought for today's purposes I would go to the effort of tuning it down, but usually I don't bother and it still sounds fine. Um, so might as well get started. At the end what I'll do is I'll just read out the tab. Um, so if you want to you can then just write that down. Uh, so I won't take you extremely slowly through through it because at the end I'm going to read out the tab so you can I'm sure you could uh, play it much better than I can in no time flat because uh, I'm still very much a beginner intermediate so on that subject I'll probably kill a string here or there or something but uh, we're just going to have to live with that I'm not going to start again every time I make a mistake or I'd get to about take 300 before we ever got to the end uh, so I'll get started so the first bit you can just break it up into small little bits and it's not a very long piece and it, you may have noticed from when I played it at the start it, it cycles, it's one piece uh, cycled three times. Uh, so the first part I'm going to show you is just this part. So you form a G chord and incidentally on, while we're on the subject of chords, the G chord and the C chord are the only ones you're going to need to form. Not that you ever play the chords but they're the only shapes you're ever going to need to form by way of chord shapes. Uh, so you start off with the G shape, except the index finger is going to be floating because it's got to do some work down on the third and fourth strings. Now, and by the way, I've seen on YouTube some people refer to the the high, or sorry, the low E as the sixth string. Some people refer to it as the first string. I'm not sure what's right, but I've always referred to the high E as being the first string, and count up from there. And that's the way I'll be referring to strings throughout. Um, so G. G chord, floating index finger, so it's 6 string, so it's 6, 4, 3, 4, 2, and then the index finger comes into play, down on the second string, hit the third string again, and then up with the index finger, third string again, and then the fourth. So pretty simple that part, the only thing you had to do was just put the index finger down on the third third string for one of those notes. So again it's then the second part that I'm going to show you is this part. The picking pattern with your right hand is exactly the same as the uh, the first part except of course you do a fair bit of different work with your uh, your left hand. So it's the same picking pattern that's uh, just the picking pattern will be four, three, sorry Four, scrub that again. It'll be, I told you I make mistakes, I'm not going back. Um, it'll be six, four, three, four, two, three, three, four. That's the picking pattern for the first two pieces. So we've done the first one of those, and the second one, you end up finishing the first one still with this G shape and the floating index finger. Just drop that down onto the second fret of the sixth string, and we go from there. It's six, four, three, four, two. Then you drop what's been described as the Johnny Cash finger onto the third string, second fret. Then lift it, third string, second fret again. Then you drop that onto the second string, second fret of the fourth string. So that part again is starting off with the index finger on the second fret of the sixth string is. So what we have so far is the two parts where the picking pattern's exactly the same. It's then just three open string notes, which is six, three, two. So then it's six, three open, then three second fret, then the second open, 
second the string again, first fret. So those two little bits is. Then you form the C chord, fifth string. So what that was is with the C chord in shape, so that fifth string was a third fret because that's where it always is for your C chord. So it's fifth string, third, second. Then you lift the index finger off the second and hit it open. So you get this, this little piece. Then you go back to your G chord. And then it's sixth string, third string, first string. And that's it. Then you go back to the start. That's all there is to it. Um, didn't take as long as I thought to go through that, but uh, shouldn't be surprising. There's not a lot to it. Uh, I do have more of it, the, uh, but I haven't gone on to playing that yet, so I can't even attempt to show it to you. Uh, maybe one day I will. But at the moment, as I promised at the start, I'll uh, read through the tab for you. I'm going to read out the string number first, and then the fret number. So six three is obviously sixth string, third fret and so on. So I'll just read that out so you can write it down and I'm sure you'll be playing it in no time. So, and, uh, and I'll obviously I'll only read it once and then tell you that it cycles three times. So, here we go if you're ready. Uh, six, three, four, open, three, open, four, open, two, open, three, two, Three open, four open, six two, four open, three open, four open, two open, three two, three open, four two, six open, three open, two open, six open. 3 open, 3 2, 2 open, 2 1, 5 3, 3 open, 2 1, 2 open, 6 3, 3 open, 1 3. And that's it. So if you write that down, you'll have it. You just play that three times with the intro, then it goes into a bit more, which I can't show you today. But, uh, but that's it. Uh, hopefully I read all that out right and hasn't confused myself or you. Um, hope you enjoy. It's a really nice intro piece, I feel, for that song, uh, and one that I'm glad my guitar teacher was able to uh, work out for me. And again, if you're listening, thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>